Hello, hello again and welcome to another tutorial in the camera and lens repair. And this time, one of my friends had this uh, Nikomet FT3, which have problem with the uh, light meter. Well, I hope it's not the light meter itself, but uh, it looks like it's more the battery uh, contact or the wire in here that is which I found out because I look into the camera. So, <clears throat> but let's have a look inside. Um, we need some tools, uh, at least one JIS screwdriver. It could be this one from Moody Tools, JIS 2.5 millimeter. It's a set of four you can buy on ifixit.com. I prefer to use my Vera. <laughs> Uh, PH00, which I have modified by file <coughs> uh, the very pointy tip so it works as a JIS and I can say it just works better. I mean, I prefer that. Now, <coughs> a dentist tool can be very handy. This is a spade in its end, different angle. A pointy tweezer is also very handy and a wire cutter, a, um, another plier, this is a round noose plier, which is a, it's a brand called Knipex, uh, which is a very good brand. <coughs> we need a, a glass fiber uh, brush, uh, which you can see here. <coughs> it's very good to clean contacts, corroded contacts, uh, battery contacts, or whatever. We also need some solder, just an ordinary standard tool solder. We will need some <coughs> nail polish, no, <laughs> isopropyl alcohol, and some cotton buds. And we probably, maybe, also will use some nail polish remover. But let's see how it will turn out to be. <coughs> it could be. And, of course, a soldering iron. <clears throat> now, the problem is, uh, which I found out, it's um, the light meter doesn't work. So I took off the what, a coin, simply turn it 90 degree and took it out. And looks what's in here. Not really the best uh, look, <clears throat> I mean really bad, uh, it looks like there has been some battery problem, well, years ago, <clears throat> but um, I know, I, I found out what the solution is and what it could be, <clears throat> their, their battery cover looks actually okay. <clears throat> but um, I found out there was a broken wire in here that was come off from the battery chamber so and there is the the way to come into it is there is a screw here and a screw there that's it take care of this pin is um, the button for um, the reverse function, so when you press it in and rewind the, the film. <clears throat> so let's jump into it with a screwdriver. Funny thing is not, it's non-magnetic screws, so. And there is one screw here. Have a, I mean, have a good grip here on the camera because so the little pin in here will not just fall out so you have more control of what you're doing and off with that here oh little screw here so and hold the camera more just like this way than this way so have it here because the pin will come out easy so and this is how it looks inside. 
It looks like there has been some battery contact problems corroding or something. Hopefully we'll make it. Now this one, remember how it sits. It should sit like this. So, <clears throat> put it aside. Now, the real problem, I don't know if the light meter works or not, but this is absolutely, absolutely a problem. Problem, <laughs> really, <clears throat> really corroded wire. Uh, so, but I can come into it and put in a new part because the the eye or whatever it called the um, contact which this wire is soldered into is actually broke off. So by taking off this the minus I mean the plus uh, ring here for the plus uh, of the battery I can just lift it off and up not off. See, there are much more, not really good. Take care of the wire. It's not, I mean, it could be a little fragile. Fiat, fragile. <laughs> now, take out the battery chamber itself. By the screw in the middle. And we can just let it, the screw sit there so we know where it is. Now, <clears throat> then I can just lift out the whole plastic battery chamber and um, here we can actually see there is a lot of bad stuff here. Let's see, uh, let's turn out, <clears throat> turn into dust or something. It's not really good. <laughs> And we will probably see the um, the battery contact here is not that good, but uh, then I will use the the, the fiberglass brush here to actually take some of the the bad stuff here away. Of course, I will take it off. And then that way, uh, simply clean off the uh, the old stuff here. So, and um, where's my? <clears throat> this is a lint roller, and it's really good to take away stuff on the table. Um, clean it off and now the um, I will just clean the inside of the battery chamber with some isopropyl alcohol this is really good for that so here hey wow it's not good Hopefully it will be better. <clears throat> now I will also take out, out the screw here so I can put in a new part. It's not a original part. So I took this uh, brass um, part from another camera because of the, the eye, the, the hole here uh, can actually fit here. So I just need to cut with a wire cutter. So we'll get off this and uh, hopefully we can get it off. Mm -hmm. Maybe this plier will work or not. Could be, let's see how it will go. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Sometimes those old parts can be really tricky to 
to disassemble. The good thing is it's uh, fully disassemblable. Uh, this uh, thingy here. And get this part out. So the plastic battery chamber is uh, really good uh, because I can clean it all away without any problem. So there and get rid of all the old corroded stuff. And hopefully get the camera to work again. Uh, I mean, it could be really fi fine. <clears throat> so there. And maybe wipe away the rest of it. And now it actually looks fine. Not just like new, but almost. Just has to have to get all the rid of all the the old corroded um, stuff. And this one also need a good cleaning. So there, and it will be. For that it doesn't really look that bad I mean it could be much worse <laughs> so the, the important thing is to get it as clean as possible so there will be good contact and the screw also needs some attention because there is a spacer here, which is not really good. I mean, yes, it is good, but not so much the screw head. It's more the the battery contact itself. And here you can see there is it's really corroded. And also it breaks off here. And that's why I put in a new part. Um, so hopefully it can be getting to work again. So I made some lines um, where I should bend it and where I should cut it. I cannot remember which camera it came from, but it doesn't really matter as long as it uh, can fit in there. So cut it away. And before I actually uh, put it in, I will um, just solder it. I mean, add some solder to the there. So and then the wire, the the part here is ready to actually um, add some solder to. So I can, maybe I can use this one for holding this part here, hopefully. It's just my, one of my tools. Uh, I know it takes some heat away, but well, let's see. It's just a little amount of solder that we need. So there, that's all. And uh, of course, the wire also needs some attention, but uh, let's see what we do. Just put as much as possible together and then 
get ready for putting the things. Remember this has to sit correct. It will say something like that. So, so the spring is uh, this leaf spring actually goes upwards. I mean, that way. Or you can actually, if the if it's uh, a little what you say, um, not a good pressure on it, you can just bend it a little. It's not a problem. <clears throat> so that was one part of it. Then we will take some care of the wire in here. I probably will just cut away the, the really bad part here and simply take away the insulation so I have a new uh, what do you say full fresh copper on it and we just need to take away a little of the wire hey, it's not really that good <laughs> oh The wire is not that long, but let's see how it will go. So there, the corroding has uh, actually make the wire a little bad in one end. And it happens sometimes. Wow, it's really bad. So maybe I need to put in a new wire, a new piece of wire. Yeah, it could be. But let's see if it's really thin. Ah, the wire is simply corroded. Not all the way, but uh, Yeah, you can see, you can probably see the wire is actually green. <laughs> so it's not that good, but. So maybe I need to take a little more of the, the insulation. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks a bit better. So I'll just uh, solder the wire here. So it's not good. It's not at all good. It's really a bad wire, so it's not even have any of uh, the solder will simply not uh, sit on the wire because it's so bad. Mm. I think I need to maybe I can. So with the wire cutter, I could now. Nah. I think I need to cut more of the insulation and put in a new little piece of wire. Hmm. Yeah, I think it looks a little better. <clears throat> but let's see how it <clears throat> it will go.
Yeah, no, it comes on. <clears throat> Not the best soldering, but uh, so that's fine. And now I can simply cut away the rest of it, which is really bad. And get rid of this little piece of. Solder. So, <clears throat> yeah, I know it's a bit short right now, but just need to put in a new wire, which I have something in yellow. I mean, I thought I have. Yeah, there's a piece of wire here, <clears throat> so I can just add a little. Not too much, but um, so, and just a see here. And then solder. Nope. And just cut a piece of wire here. There should be long enough. So there. So that's fine. <coughs> it doesn't have to be that long. So, so now I'm ready to actually attach it to the, I mean, solder to the other wire, the old wire. Yeah. So there, that's fine. And then I will uh, add a little, um, I don't know what it's actually called, crimping, crimping, or it will, when you put heat on, it will shrink, I think it's called drinking rubber or plastic or something, but I just need a little part and uh, to actually cover the solar part of the wire so it will be fine so it will be something like that should be more than enough so go on there and that will be fine And just use the side of the soldering iron to actually heat it up a little. Doesn't have to be fully heated up. But this one actually looks fine. And now I'm <clears throat> ready to add this homemade part from another <laughs> camera. But I also need to bend it a little, so with a flat plier, flat nose plier, I can uh, do so and then bend it. And hopefully it will be long enough. So when it sits on the battery chamber, It'll be fine. So I can uh, solder it 
to the wire right now. Let's see. So there. Oh. I need to bend the wire a little so it fits better. There's no need for actually add uh, some uh, drinking plastic here. So it's actually fine. I mean, it looks okay. <coughs> and then I can. Uh, oh. Let's see, maybe it was not the best way to do that, but <clears throat> let's see <clears throat> how it will, yeah, I think it will work pretty good. <clears throat> oh, sorry. And yeah, it needs more cleaning in here <clears throat> because it's really bad of the old... Uh, battery stuff that comes in here so <clears throat> that should be that <clears throat> and then I can screw in the um, the battery chamber to the <clears throat> this contact oh. so there and the <clears throat> battery contact here come on and then the tiny screw on the other side <laughs> hopefully it will work there that's fine where's my tweezer here so there and let's see <clears throat> how good it will be here to fit it in so now yeah and the wire here will not uh, touch the uh, the bottom cover here which is looks like the other have actually <clears throat> ah sorry so now it's uh, I I have to tighten the screw so it will be fine. Oh gosh, will it fit there? Yeah, I think. Let's tighten the screw. So. That's fine for now. Then put in this here. And where's the, the shiny screw <coughs> that is uh, holding the battery chamber itself. So it sits there. So everything actually looks fine. And the spring looks like it's more. Yeah, it works better. So I can just put the wire in to fit proper here. And it will not uh, attach the... It sits lower than the, uh, than the inside of the cover here. So it will be fine. Now the other, uh, the ring here, also needs some attention, which I will 
clean a little with some cotton buds and hopefully it will be fine. Wow. <laughs> this acid from the uh, battery is, it can sometimes be a little hard to get rid of because it will be rusty. I mean the metal it will be a bit rustier so it's not good but of course it's it's the minus uh, the minus part of the battery chamber so it will not be a big problem but I think I need to to actually use the fiberglass brush here and um, Maybe it's just so, let's see, there's nothing fine there. So there, <coughs> where did the screw went here? And so I can just attach this here. So, and then do some cleaning at the uh, at the battery contact so it get rid of the the green stuff so there hopefully will be better battery contact mm-hmm Just like going to the dentist when they clean up their our teeth. there I think and hopefully we have a working light meter <laughs> I mean it could be something <coughs> else wrong in the, the camera a lens blower is also very handy so. do some final cleaning with the uh, isopropyl alcohol <coughs> and I think we are hopefully it will work and I think I also will do some cleaning at the uh, outside of the button plate which looks a bit dirty so there and then I think we are there Maybe this one also needs some tension. So there. And uh, I think I also will bend the the little spring here a little, so it has better contact oh, to a peak so the battery sits a bit tight more tight than it normally would be <clears throat> now let's see 
if I put the bottom plate on, um, the little push button for the reverse will come in here. Then the bottom plate. So if it's possible to put it on. Okay, yeah, there we are. And here we are. Actually. Oh gosh. So now I think it's fine. Let's see. Click. So I think it will be good. Now next thing is the the two screws that hold the plate and then put the battery in and let's see if it works. So the other one which is not magnetic <laughs> strange enough. There. And the last point is, and the battery is actually new, and let's see if it will work or not. Where's my coin? Will it work or not? Let's see. doesn't really seem to be much life in here. It could be a bad connection or something. Let's see if I put it to half a second. I mean, will it work or not? Not really. It's not really the best contact. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I took a closer look into this uh, camera because the light meter mm, doesn't really work. So uh, I thought it was, uh, maybe it was the light meter, but it could also be something on under the top cover here on some of the circuit board. So I took a look, I took the top cover off and uh, found out there was a corroded wire and the other end actually the yellow one that goes from here up to there inside on the circuit board so <clears throat> let's take off the top cover and see what's uh, actually going on in there so <clears throat> off with the battery cover with the battery <clears throat> and um, also take off the uh, ah not yet I'll wait a second. Um, so I will take all the the stuff that can be taken off here uh, on the top and t take the top cover off itself. So let's have a look inside. Need to take off the nameplate with the two screws. Nothing special. <clears throat> so it uh, it was a bit tricky. So I thought. Okay, well, <laughs> it was corroded under the top cover. That was hmm. so all for that. And there is one screw here. You do not need to take that off. Um, there are other screws around here. There is actually one there on the back, and there is one here on the on the right side, uh, seen from the back. Hmm. here so I need to take off the winder and the of course the rewinder need to come off you do not need to take off the uh, the uh, the view ocular or the name it's actually have <laughs> uh, 
So, um, yeah, we'll begin with the um, with the screw here, and uh, for that I will use a rubber tool to actually get it off, and it was quite easy to get off, but something in here was not that easy. We'll see. <coughs> One screw, nothing special. <clears throat> the next thing is this uh, screw, I mean the knot, retaining knot, which you can see here. It comes, I mean, it's, it, uh, it's connected to the wider arm <coughs> lever. So I need to unscrew this one counterclockwise, but I found out that this this one retaining knot sits really tight, so <clears throat> I use some nail polish remover and simply suck something in here and uh, make it much easier to actually unscrew. So, <clears throat> and with a cotton bud, you do not need. A really big amount of uh, nail polish remover but just add so let it suck in to the thread and that's it it should be enough and um, then use a good tool I will use my big uh, <laughs> um, yeah what's called what's called the name mm -hmm. yeah walking stick or something compass <coughs> so have a good grip here on the back from the lever and then you simply unscrew this which actually sit a bit tight and uh, simply continue to unscrew this So there it is, <coughs> and simply fully unscrew it. So it is there, and then the uh, wave spacer here looks like that. Sits next, and then the wider lever itself. Since I've been into the camera uh, already. I know there is uh, something I need to take off and I didn't have a repair manual for this camera so I uh, simply set a mark here just in case of something happen uh, unexpected things and uh, but well it was not that hard <clears throat> so I could simply take out this part here so, can only sit in one position. <clears throat> the plastic thing in here uh, can actually also sit in one position. It's actually the the contact. So when you actually move the lever here, you turn on the um, the light meter, and when you move it back. To say something like that there so now it's actually on and then you can switch it back off so <clears throat> but I will see it uh, we will see it closer look in here and then we need to take off the uh, <coughs> re rewinder uh, lever here and by doing that open the back and uh, need the, the end of your tweezer can actually be very handy to put on here and simply unscrew it by the lever gently so and it comes off it did not that uh, stick uh, so much on here so, remember, 
there is one. Okay, let's see the parts here. This one, special uh, curved, a special bend. It has to sit on first, like this here. And you face it like this. And next come this spacer on. So when you put it on, first the spacer, next the uh, the special one, and then as you can see, this end has to face upward. I mean, um, yeah, I think you will you will get it. But it has to sit like this, and then you put it on, and then this uh, the wind rewind the lever itself and take care of the little the little pin in here which is actually stick together I mean hold it and it can be taken out so don't don't drop it on the carpet you will probably not find it maybe <laughs> so but uh, I will show you how you put it on again when we assemble the camera again. It's not really a big problem. The next problem here was really tight. So by um, taking it off there is a retaining knot here with two, um, two uh, yeah, boring uh, holes, not holes but just they have by a drill bit they have drilled it a little so it's easy to actually unscrew or screw in again. So <clears throat> by using a another one, um, by simply take it off, but this one also sits extremely tight. So again we will need some nail polish remover and simply add here and uh, drop it here it does not have to come all over the place here but only on the uh, on the on the thread you probably will need to to give this pin a little loop uh, just a fragment of some oil after this so the uh, nail polish remover will just sit and uh, do what it has to do and then I can hopefully unscrew it. Mm. Yeah. So and Off with that, nothing special. And then the next thing is this plate here, which uh, also sits here. It has a pin here on the back, and it goes into the notch here, the hole here. So it will sit like this here. Now, then we will unscrew the two screws, one on the back here and one on the side. And that should be that. <clears throat> but hold on a second. I will just unscrew the bottom plate before I take off the top cover. There's more things in here than here. So all for the bottom plate with the two screws and over there the other one take care of the little pin so have the camera like this and simply take off the bottom plate so it is and take this out so now we are safe. And now 
it's time to take a look on the top cover. <clears throat> so off with the back screw. Ooh. So it's funny some of the screws are magnetic and some are not. Oh, <laughs> strange. Now, then it should be possible to lift off the top cover. It can sit a bit tight. So, um, by lifting it off gently, there are some spaces just like this one. It can sit around here, but there is, I think there was only one in this camera. Take care of the wire from the from the oh take care of the wire from the flash uh, the accessory shoe so you're not um, oh. <laughs> something broke off so it was just my glass <clears throat> so there is um, there's one wire that is soldered to this point here as you probably can see this wire here which is the one that goes to the accessory shoe or the flash shoe or hot shoe and I will simply unsolder it because it will make it a lot easier to hopefully put in a new wire from the uh, light meter to the battery so that's off and now what I found out when I opened the camera that it was one I mean the other end of the the wire from the light meter which is this one the yellow one is also corroded in the other end which I think it's quite interesting because uh, how could that happen so there is I think no connection at all so if I, yeah <laughs> you'll see it's fully corroded so it's really bad um, but uh, I think we will succeed with putting in a new wire so this one is uh, I will check out and hopefully if uh, I would guess correct this one should be possible to if it's not get stuck inside yeah it is it looks like it's stuck in here by maybe some tape um, where the wire sticks on <clears throat> so I will do the same with this end here add a little wire piece of wire from here somewhere cut it and then add it to the soldering point solder point <laughs> uh, where's my wire so I would like to see if it's if the wire is all bad uh, it could be it's better than the other end hopefully it is but I think it's nah it's not really that good so I will simply cut there and see if it helps it's simply bad Now, and I mean, it is no idea to fully disassemble the camera to just get in a new wire. So I would think it will work to simply add a new solder. And let's see how it will go. Mm. 
I think it will work. But let's see how good it will be. <laughs> so I simply need some uh, insulation to add over the, the the new wire. I mean the soldering point. this there and just a piece of a small piece of wire that goes up to here but I need to clean it up a little and uh, get rid of some of the old can just put it next I mean to the next soldering point here which is the same those two are actually connected um, via the circuit board as you can see here so that shouldn't be a problem <coughs> I just need some uh, some extra insulation to add and a piece of wire here which I think should be enough so and a little Solder. That should be enough. And then some insulation on this uh, I will just find. So <coughs> find a small piece that would that should be enough doesn't need that much so to remember to put it on I put it on first uh, ah, maybe not it's not a good idea so I will just uh, solder it together with the the new wire and then solder it to the old wire here mm. something here So there, and it looks fine. No, not really that good. That solder is not. Looks like it's good. So, no, it's fine. Just try again. And hopefully it will work. Yeah, 
that's fine. <coughs> so now I can add my little piece of insulation here. So looks okay, and then use the side of the soldering iron to melt. I mean, soften the this plastic drinking. So that should be fine. It'll be interesting to see if it works. Uh, I'll also have to add a little here. So that's fine. And then add this piece of wire to the point here. So, so now we have actually extended, I mean, repaired the wire that goes from the from the circuit board here on the top to the battery chamber here down. <clears throat> so let's see if it will work. That could be really interesting. So by adding the this part here mm. so I see yeah so it is and then add the lever winder itself and then add the wave spacer, the retaining nut so yeah that's fine and uh, hopefully we can yeah it works so now I will put on the uh, bottom cover uh, because I do not need to go in there anymore. <coughs> so the final thing is only the the top cover need to actually work with. So by adding the little part here, the bottom cover, and let's see how good it will go. Oh, so and then add a some screws and the other screw oh gosh <laughs> there and make some pressure on this so and now let's get some battery in here just to see if things are working proper then <laughs> okay yeah so there and then Put a coin, close the lid, I mean the cover. So now let's see if it will work. Yeah, we actually have some light life. The light meter is working. So that's good. So if I change the exposure, it should also do some change. So it actually works. Okay, so if I change the exposure, the light meter here will move and if I close, I mean uh, turn off the, the winder, it will also close. So there is life again, 
So that's good. <laughs> wow. Really, really good. And that was a easy repair. <laughs> so I better take off the battery. I mean, I better take out the battery again. And then I can assemble the camera again. So. And I guess it will happen in many older cameras because of uh, of the old battery or maybe the condition the camera has been stored in. Well, nobody knows, but uh, this is a, the thing it will work. Now let's see at the the contact the I mean the the on off thingy which will be this one and it has to sit like this so here you will see the on off that make the pressure on here so if if I put this on here when um, actually turn off I mean turn on the um, the winder lever it will simply turn on the light meter so it be will be something like that and then it's on so moving back to the really relax position the on the off position it will open the the contact here so that's quite simple <coughs> There's not really much electronic parts in here. So now I can actually add my um, my wire, my blue wire over here to the circuit board. Uh, the blue wire here from the flash hot shoe. And uh, where did my solder get? add some new it will make it easier to <clears throat> add some new solder it will make it easier to actually solder on the circuit board again and that's it let it cool down a short second and then we are here so on with the top cover again and uh, now I have a working camera which is quite good so be sure to put in the this plastic part before you put on the top cover this is important because you cannot put this on after you put the top cover on so you have to I mean open the camera again if you miss it so and then we can gently put it on take care of the if there is a spacer here take care of that and also take care of the wire in here Let's just have a look at it this will go around the the uh, the rewinder I mean so it was when I opened the camera but with a uh, dentist tool hopefully we can fix it one need to actually add a little pressure to not get the spacer falling off <coughs> and uh, so there and simply it will come on so that's it and then the screws 
I'll be sure to this uh, have to sit correct so when it does not if you just press the top cover on <clears throat> and it will not come on all the way down it could be that this part here has to be moved a little <clears throat> so and now you can put it on <clears throat> oh yes. the screws are not sticky hey so it is and then the other screw here on the side so and what part do we need we need this one <coughs> There is a notch here. This notch here has to come over this pin down here. Hopefully you can see there. You probably has to move it a little. <coughs> and so so now the winder lever itself comes on. You have to find the correct position. There, and then the waves baser come on. Then the retaining knot. You could add some thread lock. Uh, but I mean, if you tighten it uh, really good, it, uh, you could add a little thread lock on it, which I will show how we can do. Just a little tiny amount of thread lock which we can use a let's see where did it go here so there that should be more than enough <clears throat> And it's not that hard to actually unscrew. It's a purple one, which will be quite easy to actually unscrew. Then use my handy compass here. Tighten it good. And then add the screw here. There's no need for use any thread lock on this. <clears throat> and then tighten it gently with the uh, with a rubber tool here. So that's fine. And the next thing is the plate here with a little pin here on the back that goes on like this has to sit so it has to sit correct which will be there and then add the retaining knot which has to sit like this we could also add a little thread lock here just a tiny amount on the uh, on the inside here 
so that's much much more than enough <coughs> and add this and with a tool simply screw it in find the correct thread will be there and screw it fully in it has to sit tight There it is, and now the rewinder lever itself, <clears throat> and it's actually easier to open the back door here, and then have this back door open. Where did the spacer get here? So this basic gets on first, and then where did this part here it went over under here? And this one has to sit like this. So when putting it on, this one has to sit on here. So now it should be possible. <laughs> To add it on here and then with a, the end of the tweezer it could be quite easy to screw it in until you can make some adjustment to the part in here it's, I hopefully can show you see, hopefully you can see, um, oh yeah, this one has to sit all the way over here, so, I know it's difficult to see, but I uh, hope you will get it, so, this one has to be turn it all the way over here and then I can actually so the arm here will be uh, fixed by the the little plate in here something like that so and then I can actually tighten the the part here so and hopefully it will sit correct maybe there need, will need some small adjustment could be no it looks like it's fine and then i can just tighten it by holding the the end of the tweezer or a screwdriver <coughs> and then gently there's no need to over tighten this because one of the two legs here can actually break off if it do it too much pressure so that would be enough so <laughs> let's see <coughs> if the light meter is still working I guess so in with the battery here so and turn the cover and then it should be possible to see if something is working so let's set it something 15 or so 
there should be some movement in here if I turn on the lever. I mean, maybe there's not light enough, so I put it on one second or so. Maybe the cover here is not that good. The battery connection could be really bad. It could be something here with the battery contact, which is not really that good. Hmm. So, there is something on here. <coughs> and the coin here. And the light meter is actually working. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. So it's actually working. That's really, really good. So now I have a fully working camera with the light meter. You can see if I, maybe if I have a torch, it, it would say that there's too much light in here. <laughs> so if I change the exposure, Uh, too much light, but you can see Hopefully you can see there's really movement So now now the light meter is working I can turn it on off and the exposure will meter will Wow, that's great <clears throat> So hope you can use the content in here and maybe find the I mean repair your camera too. So that's all for me now. Bye bye. That was not good. <clears throat> well, I forgot the nameplate on this old Nikon. So that's really bad. So just let me put it on again. It was not good. If the plate is not on, the, the work is not really fully done so I was a sorry so now now it's in the Nikomat so bye bye